Hi, my name is Lauren Salerzo and I'm a training specialist here at Shift4 Payments, the parent company of Shift4 Shop. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to talk to you all about the amazing features available when it comes to adding products to your store. This isn't something that you have to do in order to get your store up and running. Our product customization tools allow you to edit all aspects of the products that you offer, or you can simply just upload a picture, a SKU number, and a price and be up and running. So it's really as simple or as complicated as you'd like to make it. This is an incredible feature that we offer because it really allows you to set up a unique experience for your shoppers through easy categorization, and it helps your brand and business to really stand out among the competition. I'm gonna show you some tips, tricks, and how-tos for adding products and categories to your store today. So let's go ahead and get started. So when getting started, if you've already started your Shift4 shop, this might look a little familiar to you. This is our quick setup wizard. So the wizard is a great way to navigate through setting up your store for the first time, and it's going to prompt you uh, to set up some different categories and then upload a few different products to get you started. Now, when you're getting your store set up, you can certainly add those items in here, but we can also edit those a little later on as well. So when it comes to actually editing these parts of your store, we're gonna use that navigation menu on the left-hand side of our screen, and we're gonna to go to the option that says products. Now, when we're in products, we have a drop-down menu with a few different options that are on here. So the first option that we have on here is product list. This is gonna show you all of the products that are listed in your store, and this is where you can add products manually, or you can use the export import files to bulk upload products to your store. Next is categories. This is where you can edit and add new categories and subcategories for your store. Next is images. This is where you can upload pictures and create folders to keep your product details organized. Next is reviews, so you can look at reviews for products all in one place. And then finally we have waiting lists, so we can use this feature to easily notify customers when stock has been replenished or there's new items coming into your store. So today we're just going to be focusing on adding products and editing categories in our store, but just know that you have a few other options on here as well. So let's go ahead and get started by talking about some product basics here. So we have different kinds of products uh, that you can add to your store. So we have three of them. So first is going to be a physical product. So this is going to be something like an article of clothing, for example. Next is going to be a digital product. So it's something like a PDF, an ebook, or maybe an image. And then the last kind of product that you can add to your store is going to be a gift certificate. Now, when it comes to adding products, you can add them to your store manually, and you can also fine tune those products as well once they've been added to your store. So in order to add a product to your store, we're gonna go to that left-hand navigation menu, we're gonna select products, and then we're gonna select the first option on there, which is product list. Now, in the upper right-hand corner, we have a blue button that says add a product. So we're gonna select that one because we're gonna manually add something to our store first. So once I select that button, it's going to take me to a screen that looks like this, and now I can add a new product to my store. So when you're adding a new product manually, there's only three required fields that you need to fill out. So the first is going to be the name of your product, the second is going to be the SKU, and then the last and final required piece is going to be the price, which will be down a little bit lower on the page. Everything else on here is optional, and you can add in those details at a later time if you'd like as well, so don't feel obligated to add in things like your description right away. Now on this screen, this is where you can also select the type of product that you'd like to offer. So the first one that we're going to try here is just that physical product to get started. Now once I scroll down a little bit on the screen as well, this is where I can add other certain items to my product as well. So for example, I can put the categories that this product falls into. So if I'm adding something like a women's blouse, I can select you know women's as the category, I can select women's tops. If it's an on sale item, I can select on sale. So you can really customize your products a lot here and how that's going to show up on your Shift4 shop. You can also add in different images, and then we can see we have our last mandatory field on here, which is the price. Now, if you scroll down a little bit more as well on the same page, we have even more editing tools when it comes to adding things like your inventory, your shipping information, and more options as well.
So those are just the basics of adding a new product to your store. Now when we go back to the main screen and we're looking at all of the different products in our store, we can actually further edit these options as well. So by selecting this item, it's going to allow me to view and edit that option even further. So once I've selected this item, it's going to take me to a screen that looks like this. So it looks pretty familiar. You've got your same product information in here. But now I've got a couple of additional tabs at the top. So the information tab is all of the general information about the item. So this includes our categories, pricing, shipping information, inventory, etc. Next is images, and this allows you to upload images and edit thumbnails for your item. Next is options. This is going to allow you to edit and change size options as well as different colors in your product that might be offered. We're going to take a look at that one in a little bit more detail in just a minute. And then the last option that we have on there is SEO or search engine optimization. And this is going to allow you to add in tags to your product so that they appear when customers are searching on your website or the internet for your products. So the other option that we have on the screen is in the upper right hand corner and we have that preview button. So this is really helpful and it allows you to view the item in your store as your customer is going to see it. So this is also a great way to kind of double check your work. So if you're filling out this information and you want it to look a certain way to your customer, you can always use that option to make sure that it's showing up exactly the way that you'd like it to. Now remember, any changes that we make here, we're also going to want to hit that save button early and often in that upper right hand corner. Okay, so now that we've edited just the general information, let's take a look at that options tab and look at the different features that we can edit in here. So within the options tab, this is going to allow you to edit things like the different sizes that are available and the different colors that are available. You can also edit things like the buttons so you can choose whether or not your item has a drop down menu or things like radio buttons. You can choose whether or not your product image changes colors when people select the different colors and etc. So you can get uh, really specific here with customizing your products in your store. So we can see the first shot that I have on here is just the different sizes that are being offered in the specific product in my store. If I scroll down a little bit further, we can see I just have a couple of different color options. And in order to edit those specific buttons on your screen, you also have that edit button in the upper right hand corner. So this is where you can actually edit those different button options that I was mentioning. And don't forget, you also have that preview button in the upper right hand corner as well. So if you want to take a look at what these changes are doing to your products or what that looks like, you can check those out in real time as well. So this is all about adding a physical product to our store. Now let's take a look about adding a digital product to our store. So this is going to follow the same order of operations. So we're still going to go to that products menu, we're still going to go to that products list, and we're still going to add a new product. Now we still have the same options that we need to fill out on here as well. So you still need to put the name, the SKU, and the price. But now for a digital product, we have another option that has to be filled out in order to add this product to your store. So under product type, we've selected a digital product and now we have a required field for that file path. So you will need to select a file before hitting that save button and being able to edit your product even further. So that link to the e-product is going to be emailed to your customer upon purchase and then that link can be downloaded for whatever product they purchased from your store. The Shift for Shop shopping cart system can automate this whole process to deliver these products to your customers immediately. So after the purchase, the customer is going to receive a receipt with a link to be able to actually download their file. And while that e-product download is still active, your shopper can also access that um, and download that link via their respective My Account page through your website as well. So that's adding a digital product to our store. Now let's transition over to talking about the last type of product we can enter into our store, and that's going to be a gift certificate. So once again, we're going to follow that same order by going to the products, product list, we're going to add a new product, and then once again, the same fields apply. So we're going to fill out that name, that SKU, and that price. Now at this point, we're selecting the gift certificate as the product type option here. 
Now when you're adding a gift certificate, we must go in and we have to actually edit under the options tab in order for this feature for this product to be available on your site. So once we're in the options tab, you can see that I have my description filled out for the different amounts of gift cards that my store is able to offer. So we can see on here I have a $20 gift card, $50, $75, etc. Now when you're filling out your gift card options, we also need to make sure that that value option is filled out and that matches the description as well. So if you only fill out the description but your value stays zero, that means your gift card is worth zero dollars. So we always need to make sure that both of those fields match up for your gift cards to be able to be offered in the actual amount that you're offering them under. And once again, you're going to go ahead and make these changes in the options tab. And you can add new, so you can really add as many or as little options as you want, especially when it comes to things like gift cards. So now that we've gotten into detail for adding the different types of products to our store, let's talk about the different categories and the ways that you can customize your store in that way. So by adding and editing the categories for your store, this is going to increase your customer's browsing experience through easy to navigate categorization. So in order to get to the categorization options, we're going to go to that product list and we're going to now select that second option, which is categories. And it's going to take us to a screen that looks like this. And you can see for my store, I have a few that are already filled out. So you can go ahead and sort categories so they appear in the order that you want them shown. And there's two different ways that you can do that. You can either use the ordering function by selecting and typing in the number in that text box, or you can just simply drag and drop these items so they appear in the order that you want them to on your store. Now you can also edit your subcategories in these same ways. So I have all of my subcategories collapsed in this example, but we can see next to my first category that I have on here, it says women's and then it's got that five in parentheses right next to it. That means that I have five subcategories under my women's categories. So I can expand and use all of these same editing features for my subcategories as well. So now that we've changed and edited our categories, we're happy with this. what this looks like, we can go ahead and edit further or you can add new. So now if you select that gear icon to the right hand side of the sorting text box, you're going to see a drop down menu that pulls up. So if you select that details option, which is the first option on that menu, you're going to be able to edit these options even further. Now when you select that, you are going to get to this screen and you can see we have a lot of options on here from general, SEO title, category page. Again, you can get really granular and you can really customize your categories in any which way here. We're going to not talk about smart categories though, which is something that's unique to shift for shop so smart categories are classify your products in real time based on details like active discounts, release dates, free shipping, etc. So this means simple automatic generation of an on sale category page, for example, that will bring all of your discounted items together. So this is a really great way that you can work smarter, not harder, <laughs> and use the smart categorization to really make sure that your store is putting all of these items in one place for you so you don't have to actually go through and manually add and edit products to different categories. So now that we've talked about categories for our store, um, you might be thinking, wow, you know, this is great, but I have lots and lots of products and lots of items to add to my store. So adding all of these manually can be really tedious. So don't worry, we actually have an option for you. You don't need to add in all of your products manually. We do have a CSV importing tool and this bulk upload is gonna allow you to quickly get your store up and running no matter the amount of products that you have in your store. So we can use that bulk importing of products uh, through that product list tab. Now for the options that we've been using so far, we've been selecting that blue button on the right hand side of the screen that says add a product. But if you want to manually or export or import bulk items, we're then going to select just the export import button at the top of the screen. Now, when you select that option, it's going to pull up a screen that looks like this. Now, since we're talking about importing products to our store, we're going to want to go to the import side of the screen and we're going to select that first option that's titled products. 
Now, if you already have all of your products in an Excel or a CSV file, you can just simply browse on your device and upload those items right into your store. Now, maybe you don't have them organized in that way or you want to go through and reorganize some of these products. You do have the option of using the sample file option as well. And the sample file is going to provide an Excel template that you can use to easily import your products. So this can be really helpful to know which fields are included and what really needs to be filled out. So when you select that sample file option, this is the what the file is going to look like when it actually downloads onto your device. So now you don't need to have this much detail for your items. Uh, you can really simply include just basically the bare minimum for your product. So your name, your SKU number, and your price. You can add in really as much or as little detail as you'd like at this point, but just know that you have the options to add them in here if you'd like. So that concludes uh, adding products and editing our categories for today. So hopefully you feel ready to add products to your store to get everything up and running. Um, and when it comes down to the competition, it's really not even close. Uh, we aren't kidding when we say that Shift 4 Shop is rocket fuel for your business. So once again, my name is Lauren. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions or you can use our knowledge base, which also has lots of different articles and how-to sections to further edit these parts of your store. Uh, so once again, thank you for joining me today and have a great rest of your day.